Cup of Ethanol is a largely obscure free-to-play indie game on Steam created by Eon Flanagan. It is a platformer consisting of roughly 24 levels, and it houses many secrets. The goal of the game is to collect a pint of ethanol, but recently, people have been looking far beyond the Cup of Ethanol, and instead, they're trying to find their place in speedrunning history. This is the history of Cup of Ethanol World Records. The first Cup of Ethanol video started circulating around the internet in January of 2012. The video in question was uploaded by a channel simply known as Outrest. The game is shown to be in a very early stage in development at this point, and is described as an XNA indie platformer. Then, nothing. The game was forgotten about and the public did not hear a word on the state of the game for over 7 years and the channel in question lay dormant as well. Until, out of nowhere, on July 30th, 2019, the channel uploaded a simple trailer for the game showcasing the game and its features. It was to be released on Steam shortly after. Upon its release, it was largely ignored, though various videos of YouTubers attempting to play the game were starting to be released. It failed to gain much traction. Until, a speedrun was attempted. A channel simply known as John Popknocker, or Yosepi Dadcock, uploaded the first recorded speedrun of level 1 in the any% percent category done in roughly 10.5 seconds. John obtains the world record in this video, and it is hailed as one of the crown jewels of all cup and ethanol videos, though it is not a perfect run. John chose to take an extremely precise route that is often prone to mistakes, there are few frames and instances in the run where John could have approved upon. As of September 2020, this video still stands as the world record as no other confirmed speedruns of Cup at Ethanol have appeared on the internet. And with that, John had won. Or so he thought. A commenter, only going by the name Anton Forslid, questioned John and the practices seen in the video, as the time seemed much longer than a 10.5 like John had proclaimed. Though this could just be seen as a slight hiccup on John's part, as he did not add a timer to his speedrun. He responded to Anton's comment in a sophisticated manner, ensuring him the time would be re-evaluated. After performing a frame-by-frame -frame analysis, John had discovered that his time of a 10.5 was actually a time of 10.87 seconds. Anton accepted John's apology and they both went on their merry ways. And it still stands today. Today John Popknocker maintains his position as the world record holder for Cup of Ethanol. But the story doesn't end there. Any day now, a new challenger may come along and take the position from John. But until then, John remains supreme.